in this video we will learn about a new component called input from react native elements it is similar to text input uh, that provided by react native but uh, input has very much uh, flexibility when it comes to styling you can provide icons uh, in the text input and by default it also come with the e styling that the built-in uh, text repung doesn't come with so first of all create a react native project and open it on visual studio code i already opened the is simulator you can also use the android emulator so first of all you need to import the input from react native elements first of all let me show you how text input will look like Let me provide a placeholder email. Let me just save this. This is a normal uh, text input. Now let me create an input from React Native. Provide the placeholder. Let me just save this this is how the input from react native elements look like there is so much difference between this if you want this to look like this you need to provide some extra extra styling and with this you get by default the uh, this style it also comes with a lot of functionalities we can provide the type email you can provide the type of passwords text etc let me create another field let's say password type is password and if you type secure entry let me just save this and look at this now it will be secure now you can also provide styling to it for that you need to use container style you cannot use uh, this style you need to use container style instead you can provide long press uh, normal press on these input fields and the best thing is that you can also provide icon with this let's say left icon so on the left hand side i want to display an icon let me just go to the browser and go to these expo icons it's a library pre-built with the expo so if i write mail let me grab this one so first of all we need to import this from here then we need to copy this let me just save this as you can see this is over here it's our icon let me write password We can use this one as you can see email and password so this is how you can create the fields so let me just create a state and let me just create a button so whenever user click on this button after providing this information we will simply log those onto the console 
const email set email by default it will be an empty string set password on press sorry it's an input field it has on change text so whatever the text user provide we will simply set it to email over here change the text and we'll save this now we can import button from react native elements create a button over here We can provide title. Let's say login. We can provide type. Let's say outline. And on press, anonymous function. Console dot log. Email console dot log password. Let me just save this. Okay, so button we have to delete it from the React Native. Let me just clear this. So we have created two state for email and password. Then we have created two input fields for the email and passwords. The type is email and we have provided a secure text entry over here password and on chain text we are setting the text to the email and password accordingly and on the button press event we simply log those onto the console. So let me just write let's say Bridgen. gmail.com last one let's type anything over here let me just click on login as you can see present it's at gmail.com and password is over here we can also provide on submit editing over here so whenever our so we can use this same if you have created any function you can uh, you can write the same function over here so what happen is that whenever user input fills all the inputs and whenever user is on the last uh, input because we have provided this on the last input and user press enter it works fine user do not need to click on the login button user can simply click on the return on the keyboard so this is how you can use the input component provided by the react native elements it's much better than the uh, text input so you can use it in real-time application
so that's it for this video thanks for watching it